right here Gemini so I'm doing the weekly love spread for you guys and I'm just doing a little different <clears throat> a little different all right so the cards have been reshuffled I'm just going to do a couple on camera for you. Okay, so who is this person coming towards you, Gemini? Look, we have the King of Queen of Cups coming. All right, so you could be dealing with a water sign, a uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, I um, so this person that's coming towards you is actually very ready. Now, listen, the intention that I set for you guys on this um, round is thirty days. Okay. So when we get to the end and I pull the who, when, or where, when, or, um, what is it? When, where, or how, is that what it is? Yeah. When, where, or how will we meet? The intention I set was 30 days from today. Okay. So within 30 days is, um, when the anticipation, um, is for this group that I am pulling energy on. Okay. Um, this person coming towards you is just as ready as you are to meet somebody. Okay. Um, but this person is emotionally available, um, ready to give love and ready to receive love. All right. So with the intention that I set, I just want to make sure that you guys remain in high vibration for the next 30 days. You got to remain positive for the next 30 days. Okay. Act like it's coming to you in the next 30 days so you guys can receive it. Um, the group that I pulled was they're ready. All right. That's the, um, the intention that I set. All right. You guys are ready. And the people that are coming towards you already, all right? If you haven't recently met somebody also, okay? So this is for those single people, but if you've just met somebody and you want confirmation, this is a confirmation. Again, so you got a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces coming towards you. Very loving, very nurturing, very emotionally available. Right, so is the attraction going to be instant? With Gemini and this person. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands, and this is solely about the depiction on the picture. So yeah, I do feel like there's going to be an instant attraction. All right, and we have the Five of Cups coming out. Um, I, I feel like this is going to be a combination of, um, I, I almost feel like it's you guys being very lovey-dovey towards each other, but then, um, very much all over each other when it is time to be all over each other. That's a good thing. All right. So what is this person like that's coming towards you? is this person like coming towards you all right we have six of wands recognition victory so whoever this person is you guys are like a match made okay you guys are a match made supposed to be together six of wands is victory you guys are going to be equals when it comes to um everything like there's going to be equal i just i see equal look at the wands there's just look at how they line up look at their consistency I feel like this is going to be equal, um, equal partnership, equal give and take. All right. Um, this person right here, I feel like you guys are going to feel equal about each other also. Okay. So what does this person want? Uh, what do they want? Look at this could be the one. This is how you're feeling about it. So you guys are going to be together for a very long time. There's going to be a deep form of commitment here. I think with, when you meet this person, everything is just going to take off because they want the same thing as you do. Okay. This person's um, kind, caring, loving, 
nurturing and they don't mess around when it comes to what they want in a relationship so i feel like they've grown they know what they want no more playing around no more games right let's see so what uh what are the challenges going to be the challenges we have the moon card coming out and i almost feel like uh well you're dealing with the water sign okay I do feel like the challenges comes on their end and I feel like it's just because they, they could be going, um, um, it's a, they go within a little bit. Okay. A little bit more than to your liking. So sometimes when they don't open up, um, I feel like that, that could be frustrating to you. Um, and then we have the moon card coming out and this is a, um, a cancer energy. I do believe, um, I'm sorry, Pisces. Um, okay, yeah. So Pisces energy going within, not really uh, opening up, but that's kind of what I feel like how water signs are. Um, they don't tell everything. Um, they don't want to burden people. That's, you know, I mean, I'm a Scorpio, but I feel like water signs, the reason why we clam up is more because we don't want to burden anybody. It's not because we're not trying to be secretive. That's my thing, but everybody kind of generalizes it and says, no, it's because you guys are secretive. No. Sometimes we feel like when we talk, it's like a burden, okay? And I'm not a Pisces. I don't have Pisces in my chart, but I do feel like uh, I think I have a couple of actually uh, planets in Pisces. But um, it's, it's I, I almost feel like it's burdensome, you know. And maybe I'm just pulling on this person's energy. They don't like to talk because they feel like it's a burden. I don't know. For some reason, I'm getting that. Um what will help look at we have king of swords coming out so the opposite of what this person is i think it's you you all right gemini um sorry wait yeah gemini that is you right pulling this person out of their shell letting them know that you're a safe spot because i feel like too this person has probably been burnt in the past when it comes to talking about um things that are important to them whether it's getting cut off too early, not being able to finish a sentence, or just people um, um, mishandling an information that it was important to them. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, you guys, when will we meet? Where will we meet? How will we meet? So, we have the Two of Pentacles coming out. I feel like it's pretty much getting cold everywhere, but I guess if you're in a southern area in the U.S., I almost want to tell you you're going to be meeting around water. Um, even if you're not here, I almost feel like it's going to be, there's something uh, something significant with water, otherwise this card wouldn't have came out. There's going to be something significant with water. A water park, a lake, um, a beach, something, something going on with water that's going to be where you guys are meeting at. And I haven't been actually saying that. If I don't feel it, I won't say it. But I do feel like for this, whoever I'm talking to, there's something to do with water. All right. You guys could live by water. All right. Um, what does this person look like? All right. Gemini. Okay, so we're coming out with like a medium length light brown, light brown hair, um, like down the center of the back. Um, taller, okay. This person is going to be taller, um, taller than average for a female, and then average height for a male. Um, and then we have black hair, long. Um, Average body type. Um, all right, for um, some, it's like a um, the male. All right, I do see a lot of tattoos on the male, like a lot of tattoos, um, like double sleeves and chest, um, stomach, and back. All right. 
um, and this person um, for some of you are is going to be um, bit like built on top the mu shoulders muscles chest area um, looks looks like they, they work out a lot all right um, and then for some it's going to be like a short um, short and stocky um, body type all right so additional signs so what do we got Pisces um, I've only, I'm only kind of really sticking towards the uh, major arcana when it comes to um, the signs coming in knowing that we're going to be pulling these zodiac cards at the end all right so the sign you are going to be dealing with we have virgo this could be any placement in their chart it doesn't have to be a sun sign and then um taurus virgo capricorn so you are dealing with an uh, earth sign all right gemini let's see what initials are you taking all right so you're taking M. These are yours or their first, middle, or last. M, L. We have R, W, T, and H. All right. So Gemini, those are your initials. So those are the signs. I feel like I've, you've gotten a little information about this person coming towards you. All right. And um, I'm going to leave this one right there for you guys. I'll talk to you soon.